Sally Juliana Chair, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an animated GIF or GIF, depending on how you pronounce it, in Photoscape. So I have version 3.5, and as far as I know, it should be similar in other versions. So um, Photoscape is amazing for doing so many different things, and it's free, which is even better. So uh, start out here, I just open up the program and all you have to do is click on Animated GIF. And this will take you to, um, to your, your dashboard here and it says drop your photo here. So what I can do is I have them saved on my desktop. So uh, let's see here if I can track them down there in Facebook stuff and photo album so I just have some generic images here um, but I want to select them all so I have them over here and all you have to do is select the photos that you would like to use uh, left click and drag them over and it automatically falls into the default settings and so you have uh, your first through your last image up here and this is kind of your uh, your previewer to see how it's going to look so um, maybe this is a little fast so first thing we're going to do is change the time so all you have to do is click on change time and the way they have it is th that um, the number here you enter is equal so 100 would equal one second, 50 equals half a second. So maybe we want two seconds for every image. So I'm just going to type 200 and click OK. So now every two seconds, the image will change. Um, you can also adjust the size. You can adjust it to the first photo size, uh, to the big photo size, small photo size, or to a canvas size that you select here. Um, but I already have them pre-sized. They're all the same size, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, you can also adjust the stretch to fit there. Uh, paper full, image full. Um, there's, there's just some different things that you can do here. If you want to adjust, all you have to do is click on one and drag it. And you can adjust the order that they're in. Um, or if you want to adjust how many seconds. Maybe you want this one to have a longer display time. You can adjust each one individually. So when you're done uh, setting up every, okay, everything is, yeah. It looks like not everything is quite how, there we go, paper full, that's what we want, or image full. Okay, so once you have it looking how you want it, timed how you want it, oh, and you can change the effect. Maybe I want to slide it up, or maybe I want to slide it down, or left, or right or convert to the background color which is white or convert to black or I can select a different maybe I want it to be royal blue whatever effect you want that one's kinda cool we'll just leave it at black when you're done just click save And it's saving, so we want it on the desktop, we want it in Facebook stuff, we want it, we're going to replace that because I did the video earlier and it didn't save, so now it is, so I'm just going to click save, yes I want to replace it, and it's saving, okay, it's saved, so I'm just going to shrink everything down, I'm going to go to that folder, Oh, it's right here. And it just takes a moment 
to open up wherever it may be. Here we go, it's opening up in Internet Explorer or whatever um, whatever setting you have to open up animated GIFs in. It's kind of a web thing and something to keep in mind while this is trying to open up here, I'm sorry I do have quite a few things open, sorry, um, is if you want to use this in an eblast, keep in mind that certain versions of Outlook, in particular Outlook 2003, does not support animated GIFs. Um, I've been out of that practice for a little while, so I couldn't tell you for newer versions, but I believe that it is just Outlook 2003 that does not like animated GIFs. So if you do use one, in an eblast, keep in mind that it's only going to show the first image. So, whenever you want to include an animated GIF in an eblast, make sure the first image that is shown in the series is relevant and can just be a static image, and that that the eblast is not going to look strange if that's the one that you choose to use. So. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. Check out my blog at sallyu.com and find me on Twitter. Thank you so much for tuning in today. really appreciate it. hope I was a help to you. Have a great day.